Good morning and welcome to today's verse. To God be the glory. What a great day it is today. Today's verse, it comes to us from the Gospel of Mark. Mark chapter 8, verse 29. And it says this. He said to them, that is the Lord speaking, speaking to his disciples. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Peter answered and said to him, you are the Christ. In this verse, Jesus, he asked his disciples about his identity. Now, prior to this, he inquired about what others say about him. Now, some thought that he was John the Baptist, some Elijah, and yet others thought maybe he was one of the prophets. But then Jesus asked his disciples a more direct question saying, who do you say that I am? Peter's response here is that you are the Christ. In Matthew's gospel, Matthew chapter 16, verse 16, I believe it is, he, Matthew provides a little bit more detail and says that Peter says that you are the Christ, the son of the living God that you are the Christ, acknowledges that Jesus is the Messiah, that he is the promised deliverer that they have been looking for. Saying that he is the son of God, it acknowledges that Jesus came from God and is of the same divine nature as God. And saying that God is the living God, that is God is the source of all being and life. He has life within himself and he gives life to all things. The question, who do you say that I am, is a question that represents life's greatest question because the answer to it will determine one's eternal destiny. It is a question that each person must answer personally for him or herself. It is a question that is simple and yet profound. The answer is both the confession that saves the soul and lays the foundation for the church. In our lives, it is a question that challenges us to reflect on our personal relationship with Jesus. Do we recognize him as the Messiah, the Lord of our lives? And do we live in a manner that reflects that belief? In our world today, there are so many opinions, so many various varying opinions about Jesus. This verse calls us to stand firm on our faith and acknowledge that Jesus is the Christ and both in our words and in the life that we live. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse. It would be a word of encouragement to you as you go throughout your day. I pray that you would have a great day. Have a safe day. And then tune in again tomorrow. Yes, as we consider today's verse. Amen.